Many Gold Star families and military families in Virginia are scrambling after changes were made to the Virginia Military Survivors and Dependents Education Program when the state budget was signed. Now, some families tell us they're concerned that people may not even be aware of these changes as they make plans for the fall semester. 10 on your side's Amy Avery joins us now with a look at the changes and how they impact local families. Amy? Origina and Stephanie families and advocates of the program say these changes really hurt families who've already sacrificed so much. They're hoping the governor will call a special session to revisit the language in the bill. Growing up without a father it was very different and hard. Um, there are many things that other children got to experience and have that I didn't. But one thing that I was guaranteed was this benefit. And now that it's not guaranteed anymore, um, it's just another thing that's been taken away. Lauren Fenty was only 28 days old when her father Joseph was killed in Afghanistan. She's graduating from high school this year, preparing to head to UVA this fall. And instead of enjoying prom and graduation festivities, she and her mom and other families are worried about the future. I was very concerned. I love to learn. I think that learning is the best thing you can do for yourself. and for the world. It has been a very stressful time as we're approaching Memorial Day, a time when we should be honoring our dead and licking our wounds. And instead, folks are panicking. They're panicking financially. Currently under the VIMSTEP program, kids of veterans who are more than 90% permanently disabled or killed in action can have their tuition waived for up to eight semesters at a public college or university in Virginia. However, changes made to the program require families of students not enrolled in schools by May 15th to apply for financial aid and potentially pay out of pocket before using a tuition waiver. The filling out of the FAFSA is not the problem. The problem is that there's now an expected family contribution and you're expected to use Chapter 35 money, which is federal money allocated for people that have 100% um, totally and permanently disabled or Gold Star families. And that money is supposed to be used for room and board. So now the state is imputing that money prior to VMS step spending a single dollar. Friends of BIM step was formed to help bring awareness to these changes. Co-founder Kayla Owen says their Facebook group went from 300 people to 1,100 in less than a week. She says this is the greatest rollback of veteran benefits in Virginia's history. This is a significant hit. I think people are concerned about what other benefits could be on the chopping block without notice. Lauren might be grandfathered into the program because she was committed to UVA before the deadline, but there's still a lot of uncertainty based on language in the bill. I've taught my daughter that if you make a mistake and if you harm somebody, then you make it right. If the governor made a mistake signing the budget bill with this language in there, he can make it right. Now, Governor Glenn Youngkin's press secretary issued a statement to us saying in part, quote, Governor Youngkin addressed this issue in his budget amendments. The amendments were not accepted. He went on to say the governor is eager to work with all stakeholders in the task force to review these changes. You can read more about the changes on wavy.com. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.